Do, 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 Huh? What in the world are the two tumblers doing right here? Come on, Batman, you can't park those on Pop Culture Street. Wow. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today, we're going to be revising the DC Comics display here in the Lego room. I'm also going to show you how we hung the 1989 Batwing on the Billy Bookcase. It's actually quite frequently asked here, so I figured I'd better do an elaborate overview of how we did that. Big shout out to Tanjam. He's actually the brilliant person who came up with that display solution for the 1989 Batwing. So that is pretty cool. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be finding homes for the Batman tumblers that are sitting here on Pop Culture Street. Uh, we're gonna be revising all of these shelves here because you'll see that we're sort of running out of space in that area there and it just needs to be refreshed. So we plan on doing that today in this video. This is what it currently looks like. We've got the Lego Batman movie Batmobile on the bottom there beside the flying fox. And then we have the Bat Cave right here from the classic Batman TV show. Then we've got some mini Batman vehicles right here, just sort of DC comic vehicles, I guess. I don't know why. Santa Claus is still flying that bad wing. I did an Instagram photo many years ago on Christmas Day, and that was the one that I did, and I figured we may as well leave them there. This is where the Tumblr, the 2014 one, used to be, and probably still will be there by the end of this video, but we've got to revise this shelf to fit the new 2021 Tumblr. That's sort of what sparked the idea for this video. So then we have the 1989 Batmobile, the 1989 Batwing, and a different really cool uh, Batmobile here as well. Now, something that sort of irritates me, as you'll see right over here by the Speed Champions, we have some other DC Comics vehicles, such as uh, Joker's Lowrider, Riddler's vehicle, also the Penguin's vehicle, and some other uh, Batmobiles as well. So, we've got to redo all of the shelving to accommodate both of these tumblers here, and I think that just means that we have to redo this whole thing. First off, let's go over and have a look at how we hung that Batwing here on the Billy bookshelf. So it's actually ingenious, to tell you the truth. These are the standard shelves that go in these Billy bookcases. And that's what we've actually mounted vertically here on the Billy bookcase. And that accommodated the Batwing. Let's show you how that happened. It'll be sort of in like a reverse order though, right? Because it's already hung. So first thing you want to do is carefully remove the seat from your bat wing and also of course the windscreen and that's actually how you're supposed to hang the bat wing you always got to remove that seat because it opens up the large technic hook here so that you can align it with the screw that you put into the wall so if you're trying to hang your bat wing on the wall that's for sure the first thing that you got to do is remove that seat i think it even says that in the instructions all right this is what we call the batmobilia sandwich <laughs> we put the bat wing on top of the two tumblers Perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we remove the Batwing. You can actually see that this here is a shelf. And you can see that it's actually attached where the pegs for the shelves go into. Okay, I'll use this empty shelf here as my example. So you want to take your standard shelf, bracket, screw strings, whatever it is that holds the uh, shelf into place. And what you want to do is place that right here just as you would when you insert the shelf into spot. And once that's placed in there, you need something that's gonna lock this into place here. Now I don't have any because I threw them all away, but the Billy bookcases come with these weird sort of 90 degree bracket things. And it's actually designed for holding your shelves in place by screwing them into the wall. I personally don't do that, so just be careful. <laughs> in my Lego room, don't, don't hang off my shelves because they will fall over. Uh, but yeah, so what you want to do is actually take that L bracket thing and actually cut it with a hacksaw. So you can see this L bracket thing had like a long hole in it. And then we cut it with a hacksaw. I did a terrible job of doing that, but you can't really see it. And then you take some screws and some washers and you actually screw it in one spot and then make sure that piece of metal goes over top of that adapter. And then once you have it over top, then you put another screw there. So essentially it's a piece of metal with a hole in it. And then you put a screw and a washer there and a screw and a washer there. And that holds this 
in place. And it's just a nice, quick, and easy way to fasten all four of these things in spot. Now, the trick is you can't build your shelf and then insert it. The trick is, is you have to insert this thing without those metal brackets on it, without like the metal pieces holding this in place. So you have to like envision having this thing in spot there and you're like holding it. I don't know, have your wife or your kid or your partner or somebody in your life to hold it for you as you screw it into place and then that'll lock it in place. Now, the unique thing is, is this distance from here to here will actually line up with holes. It's essentially the exact same thing as putting a shelf in your billy shelf, but you're putting it in vertically and then you're cutting those brackets and you're um, screwing the portion in here so that it holds it in place. And then you pop a screw dead center in the middle of it. And then you hang your bat wing. And as you can see, mine is, I think it's like two or three notches down from the top. What is that? One, two, no, probably from the second notch down from the top here. And that fits it perfectly if you measure in the middle of the shelf. And that's how you hang the bat wing. Yeah, so just make sure you don't put these on your shelf and then try to put the shelf in because you won't be able to, to get it in because there's no way that you can get the shelf in behind. So you literally have to like place it there and then screw it in place once it's there. But one thing you could do, if you have a billy that you haven't built yet, or if you're willing to rip the back off your billy, then you can actually have that ugly metal facing the other way so you can't see it. However, in order to do that, you have to build a billy from scratch and sort of pre-plan it, or you'd have to rip the back off your billy and then install the shelf and then go from there. Something to consider though. How's that, clear as mud? Oh, well, once again, thank you Tanjam for showing us how to do that. So once again, those little pegs in the shelf, insert it into spot, take your little metal things, screw those into spot, remove the seat from the bat wing, and put it onto a screw that's in the center of the shelf. Now let's revise the shelving here. Okay, so I've decided that the DC comic shelf needs to expand and it needs to take up another shelf. So we have a lot of big things and we have quite a few small things. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but now I think I have a clear vision after thinking about it and after looking at these things for a little bit. Recently, we installed these Besta shelves underneath the table and I've got Big Ben right here. We've got a horde of parts behind our brick separator shadow box the piano, and also the Ewok Village. So I think we are going to utilize the shelf where we have Big Ben right here, and we're gonna be moving some sets there to make space for the 2021 and also 2014 Tumblr. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is move Big Ben, and install some shelves here. Luckily we have four of them tucked away right here. I don't know what it is, but every time I start to do changes to the shelving here in the Lego room, I just have a great time. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get started, but once you get going, it's just a lot of fun. So check out the changes that we made to our DC Comics shelving here. It looks pretty sweet. You saw how we hung the Batwing. I didn't move that, and I didn't move that awesome Batmobile, nor the 1989 Batmobile, which is definitely one of my favorite sets of all time. Just below that, we have the Tumblr from 2014, and of course, the minifigs and the UCS style display plaque, beside the brick sketch of Batman. Just below that, we have some mini Batmobiles. You might be wondering why I didn't space that shelf a bit lower. That's because the Billy bookshelf, well, the middle shelf doesn't move actually. So that one is stationary there 100%. I mean, I would have liked to have both tumblers right beside one another, but unfortunately I didn't want to move, you know, the other stuff. And I decided to put the big stuff over here just because I think it looks better. And the shelf that's by my feet right now, I put some of the smaller stuff. You'll see that in one moment. Of course, beside the tumbler here, we've got the 66 Batmobile with the nice UCS specifications plaque as well. One thing that I have to build is actually the tumbler, the mini tumbler that is. Too bad that one doesn't come with a UCS specifications plaque, but oh well, it is what it is. Then down here we have the Batcave. I decided to put this one on the bottom just because it's really tall. It does have sort of like this awkward white space right here, and I need to fix that. Maybe what I should do is uh, 
get some transclear panels and raise this helicopter or batcopter up off of its landing pad so it looks like it's flying and sort of have it fill that void space. That might be pretty cool. And that would be something I would consider doing, actually. Hmm. Never thought of that. Now, when you look over here at the Brixie wall, whoa, there's all our DC minifigures, right? But you'll see that there's actually some holes because I started taking some of those figures off the wall and then I started pairing them back up with their Lego sets. That just makes more sense. I don't know why I would do that in the first place. Why would I separate the minifigures from the set? Never do that, folks. Never do that. So you can see there's some great minifigures here on the primary shelf with all of the DC Comics sets and all the Batmobiles and Batwings and stuff like that. And check out the new shelf below me here. I really do think that it looks good, and I'm glad that I decided to pair up all the minifigures with their sets. It just sort of makes sense. Here's the Joker's Notorious Lowrider. It comes with three minifigures. Then we have the Penguin's Arctic Roller, I believe it is. The Riddler's Vehicle there. Actually, it comes with four minifigures. Calendar Man, Kite. Man, I can't remember the names of them. But yeah, they're pretty cool. That's like from the Lego Batman movie, right? They come with some really cool, unique colored figures, and I really do like them. They look fantastic, actually. Uh, the CMF series for the Batman movie is one of the only CMF series that I completely collected all of them. Then we've got our Batwings right here. Santa Claus is still there. Yep, mm -hmm, for sure. I don't know if he's going to move. I really like the meme I made with that. <laughs> then we got the uh, Joker's helicopter. And then down here, we put... The Flying Fox, and also I believe it's called the Speedwagon, but it's just like the Batmobile that is from the Lego Batman movie. So the Flying Fox actually comes with really cool minifigures. You got Cyborg, you got Batman, Wonder Woman, and then of course over here you have Steppenwolf. And the Speedwagon comes with some cool minifigures too. I love this Robin minifigure. It's awesome. He just looks so happy. Such a great character from that movie. Also the... Kabuki Twins, I believe it is, and also Manbat, I believe. So that's what we've decided to put down here in our Bestos cabinet, sort of spreading the wealth of all of our DC Comics sets. I think it looks good. I was on the fence of either putting the large stuff down here, like the two tumblers could go down here, for example, or we could put all this small stuff down here. I know the tumblers would probably look better from this perspective, although this looks pretty good too, right? Uh, they're bigger, they're going to get dustier down there, I care more about them, although I love this Joker, Joker's low rider, like it's, it's sweet, the way it has like suspension and everything, it is a radical set. Uh, but I think I'm happy with the choice that we made here today of putting all the smaller stuff down here, and then keeping all of the larger, more impressive stuff over here, where it's sort of like in our scene all the time. We do a lot of filming down here, so it's nice to have the big stuff on the shelves, and I think it just looks glorious. Oh yeah, also, because we moved all that stuff, we also freed up this shelf right here, which we can leave open for more Speed Champions. Some people were talking about 2022 Speed Champions, and I was pretty hyped about it. Like, I saw some leaks on, like, Promo Bricks or something like that. It's uh, not really leaked images, but just talk, really. And I was pretty excited. So there you go. There's all of our changes to the DC Comics shelves and also how to hang the Batwing. Let me know if you have any questions or comments by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for coming on by. Have yourselves a great one.